That is his that is his constitutional position. Either in the spiritual sky or material sky. He is the same. But as you develop in the material world, material body, similarly in the spiritual world you can develop a spiritual body. You follow? Your position is that a small particle, but spirit can expand. Uh, this expansion in the material world is being done in contact with matter. And in the spiritual world, that expansion can be done in spirit. Here, in the material world, I am spirit soul, I am different from this body because this body is matter, and I am living. I am living force, but this material body is not living force. And in the spiritual world there is everything living force. There is no dead matter. Therefore the body is also spiritual. Just like water, with water, water, that's all. But water and oil, distinction. Similarly, I am spirit soul, I am, say, oil, so I am in the water, so there is distinction. But if I am put into the oil, then everything is oil. So uh, the impersonalists, they do not develop body. They simply remain as spirit particle. That is their idea. But we Vaishnava, we want to serve Krishna, therefore you require hands, legs, and mouth, and tongue, and everything. So we are given such body. As we are getting this body from the womb of the mother, similarly we get body in the spiritual world, not from the womb of the mother, but there is process to get, you can get. That can be done artificially, but nobody can, nobody uh, can do that. Trick. Uh, artificially? Yeah, no one can develop a spiritual body just by his own will. Oh, I should develop a spiritual body. Practice. Uh, this Krishna consciousness practice is uh, turning this material body into spiritual body. How it is done? The example I have several times given, that you put the iron in the fire, the more it is warm, it becomes fire. When the iron is red hot, that means when the iron has acquired the qualities of fire, you touch the iron anywhere, it will act as fire. Similarly, this body, although it is material, there are so many examples that a, a, a metal electrified. The metal is not electricity, but when it is electrified, you touch the metal, you get electric shock immediately. Huh? Just like the electric wire. Copper, it is copper. But as soon as it is electrified, you touch it, you get electric shock. Uh, there are so many examples. 
Similarly, if your body is spiritualized, then their the, then the material action is no more. Material action means sense gratification. So the more one becomes spiritualized, the material demands become nil. No more material activities. So how you can do that? The same example, you have to keep the iron constantly with the fire. You have to keep yourself constantly in Krishna consciousness. Then even your this body, material body, is spiritualized. Uh, there is a Sanskrit grammatical law which is called moyat. Moyat pratta. Moyat means there is a word just like sarno moy. Sarno moy means golden. Golden can be called when it is made of pure gold, that is also golden. And if it is made of something else, but the coating is gold, large quantity of gold, it is also golden. Similarly, when this material body is uh, full with spiritual activities only, this is also spiritual. Therefore, saintly persons, of course, in your country everyone is uh, put into the grave after passing away. But uh, in India, According to Vedic system, only very high personality devotees, their body is not burnt. It is considered spiritual. A sannyasi's body is not burnt because it is considered spiritual. So how it becomes spiritual? The same example. When the body has no more, no more any material activities, simply spiritual activities, in Krishna consciousness. That body is spiritual. So, if this world is uh, become full in Krishna consciousness, nobody is working for sense gratification, only for satisfaction of Krishna, this world becomes spiritual or immediate. This requires little time to understand. Uh, anything used for Krishna, simply for Krishna's satisfaction, it is spiritual. Just like we are using this microphone for talking about Krishna, then it is spiritual. Otherwise, what is the difference between this prasadam and ordinary food? Uh, we are distributing prasadam. The people will say, what is prasadam? The same fruit we eat, and you have simply cut into pieces, it has become prasadam. <laughs> they can say that. How it is prasadam? But it is prasadam. Uh, you go on eating this prasadam, you become spiritualized. Actually, it is prasadam. Just like the same example, if I, if I take that iron, hot iron, if I say it is fire, oh, somebody may say, oh, why, why it is fire? It is iron. I say, you touch it. <laughs> These are crude examples, but that, that is a... When your activities Actually, in higher sense, there is no matter. There is no matter. Everything is spiritual. Because Krishna is spiritual. Ah. Oh. Krishna is whole spirit. And the matter is one of the energy of Krishna. Therefore, it is also spirit. But, because it is being misused, 
not for the purpose of Krishna, therefore it is made. So our Krishna consciousness movement is to spiritualize, re-spiritualize the whole thing, whole social position, political position, anything. Uh, it is very nice movement. People should try to understand it. And if it is actually spiritualized the whole world, of course that is not possible. But the ideal is like that. But at least if individually one tries the spiritual, re-spiritualization method, his life becomes perfect. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna.